beautiful people. Of course, I'm starting this in my car. What's new? Um, if there's a lot of noise, I'm sorry. I just got to downtown LA. I'm meeting my friend Lily for an early dinner at Perch LA, which is like this fancy little place. And it overlooks like the nice little LA view, I guess. So I'm super excited. I cut my braids because I was going to get them taken down today and do another hairstyle. Then I cut it and I was like, that's a hairstyle all on its own. So this is what we're rocking with today or at least for the next week and yeah i'll show you guys my dress because i'm obsessed with it and then we're gonna get up to perch i'm here early which is good i thought the traffic was gonna be bad but it wasn't okay we're in the elevator it's all the way to the 13th floor so here's the dress it's from a brand called god save the queen i got it at the brush store for 70 dollars i'm like obsessed with it i got a job in the city i got a house with the guest room i don't know Hello world, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Sunset time. Sunset time. Why did we get tipsy at this rooftop bar? <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am getting ready to go off to work. Um, uh, I bought this like rose water glycerine thing from the Heritage Store, that's the brand. Love it. I also bought their like salicylic acid. Is that how you say that? Because I say something wrong in every vlog. Um, but their toner because this summer, my uh, face routine was just not up to par, okay? It was not up to par with like how hot and sweaty I'm getting every single day. And it's been kind of helping. The lighting's bad. It always is in these vlogs, jeez. I also started using aloe vera as a uh, moisturizer, this aloe vera gel I bought randomly at Ross because you know sometimes you just need to buy random shit at Ross and um, it's a bomb. I love it so much and it actually really moisturizes my skin especially since I'm like outdoors sometimes like doing my jump roping. It's been really great at like calming everything but it's the morning. Yesterday was awesome, so awesome that we're gonna go do it again tonight. <laughs> it was just so fun to get like you know, a little bit tipsy on a rooftop overlooking LA and just talking to everyone because everyone was super nice. And yeah, it was just super nice. So we're gonna do it again today. I'm catching up on the uh, Gabby Hanna thing. And what's going on with that? Like, what? Like there's so much stuff going on, but you'd be surprised or at least per my last video when I was talking about friendships and stuff about how many people do things to other people and then are surprised when they do something that it's like it's insane but it's it's like a personality traits in some people anyway i'm wearing a dress <laughs> to work today <laughs> i don't know if you can uh see that but it's like this really pretty dress and it has kind of like detailing yeah you guys can kind of see that and i'm gonna put on a a blazer um i'm put on the shirt underneath it because i want to go to the gym right after i get off work so i have my sports bra underneath and i should actually just put my shorts underneath this but i think it'll look a little bit too janky but that's what we're doing we're going to work i have work to do surveillance footage to look at have transcriptions to do i have redactions to do which is when you take the names and the numbers of whatever witnesses important people um that you don't want when you give over a discovery you don't want that out i think i have something else to do but i probably won't be in court today anyway so it's okay again um down to LA I'm literally crouching and I just did legs and it hurts but we're going out to LA we're going to this place called 71 and above it's supposed to be really nice another rooftop place um just because we really liked it but I'll show you guys the fit ow my legs but this is it 
you know I like to call this the TikTok or the Instagram dress. You've seen it everywhere. It's a dupe of something. Don't really care. Um, got it from Amazon and it's actually really nice. Um, so I'll link it below because I think that if you're interested, you should totally get it. It feels nice. It's actually pretty good quality and I dig it. So here's another look. I'll show you guys the back because the back is sunna. You get to see a little bit of that booty I've been working on too. Ciao. Everything is done. Um, everything, I mean, like I'm back home from the restaurant and it was beautiful, obviously. The view was stunning, a little bit nauseating because we're so high. And I actually located the LA office at the law firm that it's said to be part of. But I could have vlogged when I got home, but I just had like some thoughts and I was like, let me just pull out my camera. But I'm just generally so happy with life right now and uh, hopefully forever. I feel like everything that I kind of wanted and all the energy that I'm putting out, all the work that I'm doing with myself is really kind of coming back tenfold. And I love that for me um, completely. I mean, the people that I'm meeting and becoming friends with and just like the opportunity that I'm getting just in life are just insane like as of today when I was at work I got one phone call and then later on I got like emails and stuff so I'm basically like swimming in offers and I'm just like what because honestly if you told like first semester like law school Leandra that she would be like basically having to say no to some of like other top law firms about offers for 2022 summer she would not believe you um because I had such a tough time first semester and now to be basically just kind of swimming in offers and you know I'm not top 10 percent I keep saying I'm not top 10 percent um it's just insane to me and I'm just really happy that I followed my gut um, for second semester the video that a lot of you guys found me on which was the one where I was like I just want to be me I just want to do me um, I don't care about you know what other people are doing I just don't want to look at other people I don't want to compare myself I just want to be me um, that's I'm so glad that I've kept up with that energy because it's paid off so much and it just continues to pay off um, because, you know, I did want to do moot court because uh, or law, the law journal, because it, they're all really great like endeavors. I just was not in the mindset to do that. And I really need to work on my mental health. And if I had done that, um, it would it would have been simply to put it on my resume to impress the law firms that I'm getting now, even though they're not on my resume at all. Um, so. I'm glad I didn't <laughs> because I can't imagine like doing it just for my resume and then ending up with so much more work when I'm not prepared for that amount of work um, for something that I was going to get anyway. So it just kind of, it's just kind of, it's working out. I'm completely overwhelmed and so incredibly grateful for all the opportunities that are coming my way, even the ones that I'm saying no to. Can't believe I'm saying no to them, but crazy. I'm overwhelmed. I feel so blessed. And with the people that are in my life, with just me, like I had a date last weekend and I have ended up canceling because I was babysitting uh but I just like don't want to date like I'm just so in love with myself in the most you can take that however you want uh, but I'm just so in love with myself with like with my energy that I just don't want to share it with somebody else right now like I want to share it with me I want to go take myself on walks and fancy restaurants and buy myself nice things and just like for the first time in my life I'm genuinely so happy with me and what I'm doing and the energy that I'm putting out like I said in that video <laughs> that kind of went viral like I just want to be authentic to me and I feel like I've kind of found what that is or I'm finding what that is and it's awesome and it feels great um so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep I have work tomorrow um and we have I got an, an email with another assignment so that's adding on to the one that I had from today that I didn't get to finish because of shitty wi-fi so gotta go to sleep and yeah i'll see you guys maybe if i vlog tomorrow i might just vlog thursday so i'll see you guys whenever i pick up the camera all right good morning party folks it is thursday last week 
work day for me. At least I think it is. Um, I'm on my way to work. I've got this coffee right here from McDonald's. I just got a couple of coffee and then added some like substitute sugar in there. That's what it is at the bottom. <laughs> because I like my coffee to taste like diabetes uh, but we're heading into work I have to do my assignment from yesterday um, it's going to be panic and confusion like it was yesterday because I ended up going to court um, to go see like a proceeding which was really interesting uh, but what happened was I was basically I'm tasked with uh, putting together a witness binder because my DA is on vacation and we've never done that before So I'm kind of just doing it solo dolo at the moment um, And I don't want to fuck it up <laughs> basically and um, He told me to find the folder somewhere the binder the case binder somewhere I looked everywhere in his office and I couldn't find it until the last hour of like my day my work day when I found it in my office <laughs> So I had to spend like an hour yesterday doing what I was supposed to be doing basically for like almost all day, which kind of sucks. So today I'm going to try to do as much as I can before he comes back on Monday because I don't think he expects me to finish all of it because it's a lot. Like it's a lot of witness interviews. It's a lot of transcribed stuff. Like it's a lot. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. So I don't think he expects me to finish it that fast but I would like to do that for him before he comes back so he has it like ready that's what I'm doing today panic confusion I'll try to show you guys as much as I can because I think it's kind of fun and we might get to go to court again and I'll try to show that as much as I can but good morning I'm wearing the dress and I'm so happy about it like dude look at this look at this dr I'll try to show you guys a full full body because bang it bang it excuse me bang it a defendant yesterday when I walked into the court he said excuse me ma'am I don't mean to bother you, but you look fantastic. And I said, yes, yes. <laughs> The amount of times I've been in downtown LA this week, yeah, they, should, they should sponsor me. Uh, but I'm downtown again with my sister. <laughs> We're going to go watch a movie um, on a rooftop. Just left some rooftops in those vlogs. But we almost just died like four times <laughs> on the freeway because I don't know why Apple Maps decided to make their map 3D instead of making it accurate. I don't want to be in the middle of the road. Anyway, we're going to this nice little place and it's dark with a view and we're gonna watch um i think the first nightmare on elm street ever because i love the series um so yeah that's what we're doing <laughs> my sister's telling me a really funny story and um yeah she's gonna retell it because it's hilarious <laughs> Was it best kiss, worst date? Best kiss, worst kiss to get in here. The worst date ever, guys. Okay, Dang. say go. Let's go. So, I meet this guy at the gym, gold gym, or something like that. And fine as hell, like tall, you know, muscle. I'm like, ooh, hello, mama. It was like probably like about like 10 years ago, maybe. And I think back then I was still kind of like, you know. New in the day, new, 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 new. I was still a baby, and so we started like talking, dating, a little bit, going to dinner, and he might he invited me to his loft, go to the loft. It's a nice and loft, apparently. Very nice, very, very nice like, loft in LA. Like LA, downtown LA. So we get inside as soon that the door closes. Man, he <laughs> laid on me. <laughs> Like, I swear to God, that was one of the best kisses I ever had. Oops. Whoever kissed me before, it was good too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it was so good. That should have been my first sign to get the hell out of there. But no, girl was like, mm -mm, the kiss was good. Let's see what he got. He got money and stuff like that. So we go and see, chit chat, and drink. And then he asked me, this is where things get really weird weird you want to watch a movie I'm like, yeah sure stand up that was back in the day when you see her like that blockbuster kind of thing like dvds and then he goes and his little collection his little collection of movies collection of 
collection of movies. <laughs> she goes in there, find a movie. I'm like, oh, we're gonna watch a movie and we're gonna cuddle here. And then he come and sit down, <clears throat> my eyes on the screen. First thing I see, <clears throat> the porn. <laughs> the preview. Like the previews. Like, oh, 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 what happens? Like, what the? <laughs> I was so confused. First of all, I was like, mm, nah, maybe it was a glitch. Stupid me. Yeah. I thought it was a glitch. And then all of a sudden, this girl got like, I don't know how many dicks you have in front of her. I was like, uh, what the fuck is this? And he was like, he turned around casually. You don't like it? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> like, bitch, no, I don't. Like, what the fuck? Well, you didn't specify what kind of movie you like. <laughs> Not porno. Like, what? What does that, guys? What? Like, no. He said you so didn't he say like, oh, some porn. Yeah, he didn't. He was he didn't like, say oh, some God. porn. It's just porn. <laughs> I'm like, uh, 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 no, no. And then he went. By the time he went to remove the movie, I had my purse. And every time I was like, can you open the door, please? I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was so scared. That's the end of my story. I love the story. Good night, y'all. It's like 2 a.m. I'll talk to y'all next time I pick up the camera. Bye.